Topping our news is the effort to slow drivers in one small city having to make do without its police department. We're talking about Driscoll, where a constable's office is now running radar. And as our Michael Gibson found out, they're also doing that in a Dodge Charger so they can catch the drag racers using Business 77 as their own drag strip. He's here now with that report. Michael. Well, the city uh, does seem like a virtual ghost town after the police department was disbanded and all of the traffic through town was shifted over to the bypass. That's left old Highway 77 as simply a drag strip, according to lawmen. These days, the old Highway 77 in Driscoll doesn't see much traffic at all. Up until recently, thousands of cars made their way through here, but the bypass was built and now this stretch of pavement is used only by residents or perhaps by someone who's lost. On top of that, the city disbanded its police department and some drivers are now taking advantage of that fact. This is Precinct 3 Constable's Deputy Justin Martinez and we're doing a ride along today here in Driscoll as street racers are apparently plaguing the city now. Deputy Martinez drives this new souped up Dodge Charger in the hopes of being able to catch those drivers who are now using the highway as a raceway. You can see all of the tire tracks where they've also done donuts all up and down the roadway. Constable Jimmy Rivetta put Martinez out here to try and put a stop to all of this. They're using Business 77 in Driscoll as a, as a drag racing track. So we decided to start uh, utilizing our Stone Garden vehicle. This deputy has already stopped and arrested one drag racer. He also hit on a number of drivers on this day who were speeding through town. This charger can definitely hang with, uh, with the best of them. Uh, it's got a pretty high end top speed and, and obviously we don't push them to that limit just to do it. Uh, this is probably gonna be our first car here. So speed limit here is 40. We're gonna go say hi to this guy. But just as soon as Deputy Martinez stopped the driver of the truck, there was another real emergency. The deputy ran back to his charger and we raced to Petronila. We arrived at the Mother Earth materials where a worker had been crunched between the building and a tractor. Eventually, other emergency responders showed up and took the man to the hospital. Then it was back to Driscoll to catch those daytime drivers who also have a need for speed. What did you do in the Navy? I was a corpsman. Corpsman? Now that last stop was a woman who was clocked at 58 and a 40 and she said she was just simply heading to work. And by the way, that worker at that uh, construction site seemed to be okay considering what he went through. Leslie? 